Um, but yeah, I Brendan Schwab, he was acquired. Um, he was acquired from Reddit. Uh, and I can't wait to see his skill, man. I can't wait to see his skill. He seems to be a real good fighter. Yeah, you know. Well, you know, I haven't seen him fight, but yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, we're going to see, man. That was um, definitely a surprise. 69 inch reach. Um, you can tell there goes that, you know, you definitely probably want to get. Here comes Alexis. Last time we seen him, he put on the masterful performance versus Gray. Um, you know, there was a lot of talk behind that fight and that event, but you know, Alexis, he shut that up real quick. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he does right here, man. He's coming back to the ring as the favorite, but we'll see what uh Brenda can do. And just wild fighting out of Denver. Oh, fighting out of Denver, huh? Getting that, getting that high altitude. Okay. Yep. It's gonna be an interesting bout. Uh, you know, I'm excited. You know, pulling up to the events, commentating. You know, what I'm saying my first time being in the booth like that, and uh, that last fight got me kind of hyped, man. So we're gonna see what we're about to see right now. Mm -hmm. huh. What are your predictions on this fight? Early predictions. What are you looking for? I don't know because we don't know. We don't know Brenda Schwab. We don't know Brenda Schwab. We don't know him. Um, but I see him rocking all red Reebok, so it should be fun. Oh, uh... okay. <laughs> yeah, Nang Arbina looks like he's ready to slide someone again. Oh, uh, yeah, he's coming out here right away, getting in his face. Trying to see how he gets used to the pressure. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Good, good blocking there by Urbina as well. I'm judging this fight right here. Yes. All right, all right. For sure. Get my, get my stuff ready. Okay, okay. So from the jump, man, it looks like, you know, Alexis wants to put that pressure on him, hit him with some power shots. But towards the end of the round, it looked like Alexis, you know, he kind of is trying to yeah, read him out a little bit. Yeah, trying to read him out. So maybe Brenda might have won a little bit of respect from Alexis in that round, maybe? Mm-hmm. Schwab put in the pressure now. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Oh. The Africa by name. Oh. Yeah, he's standing in his face. 
Brenda with the pressure. Swab. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, okay. Now here comes Nang with the pressure. Has him in the corner. Yep. You yeah, tell Nang's a, taking a relatively smart... competitive, competitive fight. Yeah, you could tell he's taking a smarter approach now. Um, you know, in the beginning of that first round, he was just trying to swarm him, pressure him, get his shots off. But now Nang's being more smart. He's being more technical. He's boxing. And he's doing a smart little pressure, too. Um, I like what Brenda was doing in the beginning of the round. I felt like, you know, if he puts Nang on the ropes or in the corner, you know, I feel like that 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 could be his best success. Cause I think Nang can outbox him, by the way, this is looking to me. Still is a very fun fight. And that was a good hook that landed there by Urbina. Yes, sir. Obviously this is not um you know, like the like the old fight, but like the fight before, but it's still a fun, respectable fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was kind of tough right there. That round was kind of tough. Oh, they're starting to let the hands go a little bit. Oh, good counter. I think I might be a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Yo, oh, that was a good check hook there by Urbina. Very fun and competitive fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Swab gets rocked with the, with the with the with the straight left. Oh, that and he goes down. That timing, bro. That timing. Yeah, exactly. Now, now. That timing, that timing, that's one thing in this game, man, that I've learned, you know, from playing. You can't beat timing. You know, if you catch someone mm -hmm. to power straight on the way coming in at the perfect time, yeah, that's what happens, you know. And now I have a feeling Nang's going to he's gonna try to be all over this guy. I think he smells blood. Yeah, he's going to jump all over him. He's yep. going to finish the deal. <laughs> yep. For sure. He smells blood. I mean, big ups to uh, Schwab for jumping in. Oh, I give him good props, straight man. there. You got to give these fighters props, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah man. It's over. I don't need to see no more. He's looking for a brutal knockout. Yeah, man. This it's uh, It was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I feel like uh, Schwab's, I mean, the, obviously the fight's not over, man. I'm not trying to, but, you know, we, we can see, you know what I mean? We know what mm -hmm. type of finish he is when he smells blood. Oh, it's going mm -hmm. for the highlight reel. Oh, man. But I like what Schwab was doing, like when he was when he put Nang on the yeah, road. Yeah, he was he was staying fight. patient, man. He was staying patient, yeah. and then that one punch changed the fight. And I like that because it's it's like real boxing, you know. Yeah. And yep. Yeah, that, yep. that part, that one punch probably changed the fight for Schwab, man. He's probably not going to be able to get back into this if uh if Urbina just keeps you know keeps up this pressure. Nah, I think you know right now it's it, the balls and uh uh. Urbina's uh, court, you know what I'm saying? I think it's up to him. He can coast this decision in if he wants to, or he could just, uh, he's not going to do that. You know, obviously he's going for the kill. You know, I think mm -hmm. it's going to be tough for Schwab to get back into the fight too. He was doing very well, man. He was very patient. Um, You know what I'm saying? just got caught that's what happens when when people got that timing man yep oh 
Nang, he seems to be laying off of it, but. Oh. Yeah, he letting Schwab do what he wants. This is what I think Schwab had to do, man. Oh, he reversed it on him. Put him in the corner now. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, oh, Schwab oh. does have some relatively good combos, though. Yeah, he's throwing some nice combos. He's getting some nice shots in. You know, I like what his game plan was in the early rounds. I think it was round two where he got him in the ropes in the corner. I thought he was doing a really good job. He has really good combos, but he has to keep that up. He can't let Nang. Oh, dang. Well, like I said, all this stuff is easier said than done, man. You know what I mean? It's totally. Oh, and Schwab. Oh, oh beautiful left no. hook there by Urbina. No. Yeah, man. You know, that was, that was easier dirty. said than done, man. You know. Mm. He got up. Yeah, well. Mm. Oh, or being at Landon Power Straight. Yeah, man, I don't know if I'm going to need my uh, score cards out for this one. It was good while it lasted. And, you know, no disrespect to Brenda. You know, he, uh, I think he, you know. He's a uh, warrior for stepping in. Warrior. You know? Stepping in. Was this a last-minute step in, too? Yeah, last minute stepping. Yeah, man, I give I give props to him and everything, you know. Especially when you go against these type of dudes like Nang, like these really good elite fighters, you know, uh, you, you definitely want to have some time to prep for it or, you know, get to know your opponent, watch some film. You know, bro just really just stepped in the ring and stuff. I don't know if they know each other like that, but, you know, he just stepped in the yeah, ring. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, I give him props for what he did, man. But right now... You're just seeing a shark go after his food. That's all we're seeing right now. Schwab isn't really throwing much now, man. I think he Nang has him hesitant to throw. Yeah, he's hurt. He's just trying to survive right now. Mm-hmm. And take what Nang gives him. Mm-hmm. Because right now, Nang smells blood. He's a gray white shark in the water. You know how sharks are when they smell blood, man. Yep. He has some pretty good defense. Too. Yeah, he does. I'm not sure, you know, what Arbina is doing here, but yeah. Oh, good combination. That was a good combination there by uh, Schwab. Hmm. Hey. He's surviving. He's doing his thing still. Still fighting. Yep. Let's see if he can build the momentum. Yeah, that's cardio, man. <laughs> yeah, Schwab, I mean, yeah, this fight, man, it, it, it kind of got dead, man, because I didn't think Schwab would get up after that vicious left hook. When that happened in the fifth or or was that in the fourth round? Uh I believe it was the fourth. Okay. Cause now I'm tallying up my scores just in case, you know, uh, it does go to decision. I didn't think this was gonna go to decision like that. But it, it has the chance of doing it. Schwab's doing a really good job of surviving. He's boxing. Um, I do like the oh, work he was doing in the beginning yeah, of the straight, fight. Yeah. Where he... <laughs> yeah, well, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Yeah. He could beat the count, though. This dude got a heart, man. Yeah, yeah he has heart.
And I'm pretty That's sure hard. this ain't gonna be the last time we see this guy, man. I'm pretty he's gonna come back. You know, he jumped in the ring, you know, with an elite guy, and you know, he's gonna come back for more, man. Right now, you know, we just gotta call it how we see it, man. You know, he's just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. Oh, they trying to put it on him right now. Yeah, and that he is. Well, he's not yeah, he has heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. See, he's not just rushing in. Nang was being patient with his shots. And, you know, he's getting some nice shots in there, man. Uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it. But we got two knockouts like that. Uh, Oh, yeah. You have two knockouts. Yeah, we could see, you know, some knockout of the night performances. Props, though. Props to uh, Schwab for that fight, though, man. You know, 100% uh, respect for you, man, for just stepping in the ring on late notice like that. I know we're going to see you again. And, uh, you know, I feel like he had a really good game plan, man. He was very competitive. It was very interesting and competitive, you know. But it was just – um, it was just – that timing, you know, once he once Nang put him down that first shot, he put him down with it was Nang smelled blood, man, and you know, like I was saying, man, once a great white smells blood, <laughs> it's pretty much a wrap. 